Niki de saint Fal was a French-Swiss painter and sculptor. Her works are classified as modernist. The artist was born in 1930 in Neuilly-sur-Seine and died in 2002 in San Diego at the age of 71. De saint Fal initially grew up in a Parisian suburb before moving with her family to New York at the age of seven. There she first attended a convent school, which she soon had to leave due to her energetic temperament. This was followed by numerous other changes of school, among other things because she painted parts of Greek sculptures on the school grounds without authorization. In 1953, she created her first paintings. She received special attention as an action artist with her shooting paintings. She previously worked colorful bags of paint into various plaster reliefs. During the opening, she shot at these bags, creating a completely new image before the eyes of the spectators. In this short video, she talks about how art has helped her. I'm an art survivor. I would have probably been in prison or in a psychiatric hospital if it hadn't been that art helped me to get rid of all my, my really very deeply aggressive feelings towards society, towards my parents. Starting in 1956, she designed the first emphatically voluptuous female figures, which attracted a lot of attention because of their round shapes. She called these figures nanas, which in French can mean both lady and chicken. Germany was particularly enthusiastic about them, which is why the Nana figures still dominate the sculpture mile on Leibniz Ufer in Hanover today. In 1976, she sketched the first ideas for the realization of a sculpture garden, which was to become a place of retreat from all sorrow. The model was the Tarot de Marseille from the 18th century, a card game which today is mainly used for fortune-telling. For more than 20 years, the artist worked on the Tarot Garden, which was ceremonially opened in 1998. After decades of working with toxic fumes produced during the processing of plastic, the artist suffered from severe respiratory problems. Additional illnesses caused her doctors to recommend that she move to San Diego in the mid-1990s due to the milder climate. Nikki de Saint-Fali spent her last years there before she died in 2002.